Hey, Fight Fans, this is Ted Check. Here we have the final face-off between Israel Adesanya and UFC middleweight champ Drikus Duplessis. And uh, so, courtesy of the Mac Life, we appreciate that. Here is John Anik giving it his all in a UFC rugby shirt. Uh, I think because there was some kind of rugby championship going on between South Africa and uh, and Australia that they uh, the UFC was able to kind of capitalize on that and, and hold this event at the same time. But um, interesting, first, uh, what Anik says here. Future Hall of Famer. So that, that's a bit presumptive. Uh, but, uh, you know, a fait accompli, I guess, uh, but, you know, I mean, the guy was, Adesanya was champ, you know, he lost it, became champ again, so I guess that, that warrants a Hall of Fame, a place in the, in the UFC Hall of Fame, unless he pisses the UFC off, <laughs> and, uh, he might be getting close, because he was, uh, he was criticizing them, but, uh, for, for something about Francis Ngannou, but anyway, let's take a look at, at Adesanya here. So he, okay, look, I'm not, I know he, he was born in Africa, right? But th this is, this is an emotional fight for, for Adesanya because he considers himself an African champion, uh, along with Nganu and, uh, and Kamaru Usman. Uh, they've all since lost their titles, but, um, he, uh, he considers himself, uh, a, an African champion, even though he was born there and then left there. So he didn't become a champion until, uh, you know, later, later, until he had, had moved away from Africa. Um, but, you know, he, it just seems like he's trying a little too hard. I mean, he, he's got this Wakanda necklace right here. He's, he's wearing some kind of earring and, and then he's got this, um, uh, this thing that he's holding in his hand. I, it just seems like he's trying too hard because he's, he's upset. He's been upset for quite some time. He's very emotional about Duplessis saying that, uh, he, Duplessis, is the first, he's going to be, or he is the first African champion because he was born and raised and continues to live and train in Africa. So he made, Drikus Duplessis made that distinction, that got under Adesanya's skin, and so so now he's got all this stuff, like he's just trying so hard, hey, I'm African, I'm African, okay, we, we get it, buddy, we get it. Um... Like he's never done that. I, I mean, yeah, he has a necklace here against. Uh, see, this is this is uh, Alex Pahea, who always, as far as I know, always does the, uh, the this uh, you know this this tribal. Uh, where's where's this tribal? Uh, I don't know what the word is for it. Uh, dis displaying uh, you know his culture, uh, but he's you know here he is with Whitaker. He just maybe a simple necklace. Um, Okay, something a little more elaborate for uh, Sean Strickland, but uh, you know he's, it just seems like he's never, never gone that far, never, never been that intense with it. It's like it's like he's trying to communicate, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm the African guy, I'm the African guy, not this guy over here. He's not, I am. Um, yeah, here he is against Yoel Romero, other guys, you know. So I, I don't know. I mean, is it me or is he just trying? A bit too hard. Um, whatever, you know, it's it's up to him. He can do whatever he wants. But uh, you can see he's got the map of Africa uh, on his chest, and he's a broken native. I'm not quite sure what that phrase means. But yeah, you know, the guy can do what he wants. Um, it just seems like uh, it, it's just he's just trying a, just a little bit too hard. Now let's let's take a look at uh, Duplessis here. Yeah, the crowd's it's definitely behind uh the crowd is is definitely behind uh, Adesanya. And so so here we have Duplessis. Nothing wearing nothing, you know, to tell you that he's from Africa. Cuz he knows he is, he doesn't need to 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 prove it. Pretty intense stare down. But notice that Adesanya is not saying anything anymore. In the in the previous face-offs or stare-downs, uh, Adesanya has has uh, been you know just saying all sorts of stuff to uh, to Duplessis. He's not he's not there. So that 
tells me that he's a bit more focused now. He's a bit more focused. He kind of got over that emotional hump. Um, you know, we, we, had a, we saw a press conference where he was crying. He was actually crying. He got very, very emotional. He was crying. This, this seems to be a more focused, intense, uh, less emotional Asanya. So it may or may not be a factor tonight. We'll have to see. It may or may not be a factor at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. It just, this, this guy, I mean, clearly he's dealing with a lot here. You know, um, it's tough. I would, I would imagine it's tough. I mean, you know, to leave your homeland. I, you know, like what if, what if I, uh, at some point, you know, I think, I don't know when he, how old he was, but what if I left the United States and went somewhere else, you know, I might feel terrible about that. I might feel happy that I was in a new place, but I might still feel drawn to, you know, where I was born and raised. So I, no, I, I, I get it. I get it in a sense. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. I'm excited for this fight, though. I think this is going to be great. Uh, these two guys are at the top of their game, and uh, I think it's going to be a great fight. Hopefully, you know, I, you know, it is what it is. I, I, hopefully, we get to see, you know, some of their uh, them display their styles. Um, you know, hopefully, it goes on a little bit. You know, we get, get maybe get a good three rounds out of it. Let's let's get a good three rounds. I don't I don't necessarily want it to go to a decision, but let's get a good three rounds back and forth. Let's get let's get some uh, competitive. I'm just, I'm just hoping for a competitive fight, you know? I just really am. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you later.